Hello, this is Dr. Riley, and today we are going to go over the bones of the foot. A lot of students get this very basic principle incorrect. In the hand, it goes carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges, with the wrist bones being the carpals, while in the foot, it's the same thing. The little bones are the tarsals, the metatarsals, and then the phalanges. So when you're looking at the hand, the wrist is the carpals, the palm is the metacarpals, and then the fingers are the phalanges. But when you're looking at this, it almost looked like this is one long one, or this is one long phalange also, but it's not that way. Looking at the foot, you'll have the tarsals, and these are the metatarsals. The metatarsals are these long ones, kind of like the palm, and then you have your phalanges. That's where a lot of students mess up. First thing you need to do is make sure that you're looking at the foot in the proper position. This big bone needs to be facing downwards. This is the calcaneus. If you put it on the table and you look at it, you will notice the big fat one, which of course is your big toe. The other notable thing about the big toe is only has two bones in its phalanges. It has a distal and a proximal. Remember, distal pertains to how far it is away from the midline of your body. So you have the distal, the medial, and the proximal, and these are the phalanges. In the metatarsals, they are numbered one, two, three, four, and five, with one being on the big toe side or the medial side. Coming down, we have three bones that look a lot alike. You have the medial cuneiform, the intermediate cuneiform, and the lateral cuneiform. Moving around is the cuboid. Looks a little bit like a cube. Coming back down is a long sort of bone, which is the navicular, talus, and the big one, calcaneus. Remember, tarsals, metatarsals, phalanges, like the wrist, being the corpals, the palm is the metacarpals, and the fingers being the phalanges. Perhaps it will be easier if you can remember that there are seven tarsals and eight carpals, and then you can count them and know you have them all.